Welcome back everybody to some more King's Quest Chapter 2, Rubble Without a Cause. In the last episode, we cleaned up some spider webs, we met some of our friends who are also imprisoned. And we can try to save some of our friends. Mr. Fancy Cakes isn't doing so well. I'm gonna try to feed him. I mean, look at him, he's barely hanging on to life. And he's just chained down. He's way too weak to even move. He is not doing so well. That is not good. And you know what? I am not gonna feed that giant rat. I think... I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take a risk. They want me to pick somebody to save with this meat. But I think if I want to save them all, I need to focus on myself and I need to increase my strength. So I'm going to do something that seems selfish, but I think it's going to pay off in the long run. I'm going to eat this myself. And hopefully that will allow me to save everybody. I don't know though, it's a risk. Better but still not at full health. This is my first playthrough of the game, by the way. I haven't played it yet, so I don't know what to I expect. Better, but still not like myself. Alright, so I'm two out of three now. Hopefully I can access some more regions in the game. Let me see if I can pull these off now. Because it said I needed to be stronger. Alright, there we go. Can I pick that up? I cannot pick it up. But I can take off more. Okay. I'll need all my strength back for that. Okay, so I need to be three out of three for that one. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we can do. We need to help Fancy Cake somehow. He won't eat the meat. I don't know. Let's go over here. And now that I have two strength, I can probably use these little draw bridges. And let's see where this takes me. Oh, it's like a, it's like a shortcut to Maya Blackstone. It's not a new region or anything. And I'm sure this is going to be to our little old couple. I like how the goblins label them. Like, witches over here, bakers over here, and like, warrior god over there. Okay, so I have not yet explored up here. So let me see what I can do. Alright, that guy's pissed. He's not gonna let me through. Let's see what this does. Did I just turn on some sort of alarm system? Okay, that guy... He's back to his post. I have an idea. I still have that sticky spider web. So maybe I can get him stuck here. Gross, man. Alright, there we go. Perfect. Stupid goblin. Can I kick him? No, I can just laugh at him. What a fool. Alright, so a bunch more branch points here. Short weeds had gathered at the bottom of some sort of goblin ladder. <laughs> hmm. Maybe when I'm three out of three strength, I can climb up there. But for now, it does not look like it. Let me come over here. Some goblin sleeping up there. And what is over here? Oh my god, it's the Merchant well, of Miracles! Commissary, I... oh, well, if it isn't! Oh, boy, what a sight for sore eyes you are! I was on my rescue mission and got caught up by these flying rocks! Even these shorts weren't able to outrun those barbarians! Between the two of us, these rockheads can't understand a quality deal the way you can. Speaking of which, in honor of your apparent aristocratic acquisition, I am prepared to offer a free item for today only. Better yet, I'll discount some previously undercounted prices. Now, I'm sure that crown came with some moolah. Let's make a deal, baby. You won't regret it. So, where's my free item? <laughs> 
course. I love this guy. He's hilarious. He cracks me up. All right, let's see. How's business treating you? It's quite hard to find rare and miraculous ingredients in this cell, but I'm making do. So, I just have to ask, why do you pretend your goats are unicorns? Pretend, my boy! Pretend! They are actual bona fide actual unicorns, not goats! Okay, you caught me. They're goats, but don't say that too loudly or they'll be bridge treats. Hmm. Where did you and Mr. Fancy Cakes meet? You don't just meet Mr. Fancy Cakes. You are awed by Mr. Fancy Cakes. I found myself awed on the eastern mountains of Serenia while I was out in search of squaddle nogs. What's a squaddle nog? I don't know. Do you know where I can get one? Oh, so how many years have you been procuring? When you're in my business, it's not about the years. It's about the pockets you've... I, I mean, the lies you touch. Why don't you ever wear pants? No one likes to be constricted when they're adventuring, my boy. Gotta be able to get in and out of every situation. <laughs> Except this one, I suppose. But that's what I've got you for, right? Right? All right, interesting little my fella. are barking from all this running. You got anything for me? One guy, one guy asked for a magic map. But he was the only one, so I never keep it in stock. Do these questions just go on infinitely? I'm enjoying the chat, so I'm gonna keep going. Why don't you know the other one's name? Who? So... I just have to ask, why do you pretend your goats are... Alright, so I think we reached the end of the questions here. Let's uh, see what he has. Merchandise? He's got some medicine. Ooh, stay back. Don't want to disturb it. Never disturb perfection. This little baby is a cure-all. A pick-me-up when you're feeling down. A mix-in for fixing everything from your jowls to your bowels. How much? One shiny gold coin. A come back when you have more money. I can tell by the distinct lack of jingle in your pocket. Okay, so my concern is... Last time I bought something from this guy, it was a complete ripoff, it didn't work. I'm concerned that he just put water in this bottle and it's not actually medicine. We'll see though. Metal eating sticks from my trip to the Orient. Rare, exotic, moderately priced. How much? One shiny gold coin. Eh, come and see me when your pockets are full of more riches. Maybe I can use that to lockpick something. Hmm. The last bowl of porridge. Spruced up with bran berries. Did you know this super fruit packs two whole days of nutrition into just one serving? How much? Two shiny two? Gold coins. Jesus. Boy, you just don't have enough. All right, so we're gonna have to come Why back here. I do. We're gonna have to come back here when we have some more money. What's going on here? See, maybe I can pick I that door with the chopsticks. Be stopped by a door. I have bested many difficult quests, but I might need a key. Okay, so that goblin near Amaya Blackstone, he had a key. And maybe the chopsticks, I don't know. We'll have to figure out how to open that. And is that Excalibur back there? Oh my god, we found Excalibur. It looks like there's two stones, so I should be able to lift this. Oh, it's a frying pan sword. Sure, contraband is frowned upon. I'll need to hide this. I feel like Sam Gamgee over here just hitting orcs with frying pans. So he mentioned this is contraband, so I know I get searched when I go to bed, so maybe. I don't know, I need to get rid of this or hide it somehow. We're gonna have to figure this out. Alright, let me see what's over here first of all. Got some more water. I don't know what these are for. There's a bunch of them everywhere. And are these like porta potties? Ah, oh, that's gross. Slipping through my fingers. I need to find some other way to catch a fly. I think the fly is one of the ingredients for the potion because if you remember that book that I read in the cell from the old couple, um, I think I remember seeing a fly on there. I don't know. It looks like it would take two to open that door. I would need to find an escape companion. Alright, so it looks like it's shaping up for me to make a decision about who to escape with. That's tough, man. That's tough. I like all three of my possible choices. Maybe Mr. Fancy Cakes, too. Let me go up here. I actually haven't been up here. Alright, let's go up there. And it looks like I need two stones to get over here. 
And you see there's a bunch of stuff that require two strengths so far. So I'm glad I used that meat on myself or else I would have very limited access to anything so far. What is this? There were more mattresses there than people in Daventry. I wondered where they got them all. Is that a princess on a high tower? That's really funny. There's a lot of fairy tale references here. Alright, relax. Jesus. Alright, let's check out the gramophone. What is going on here? I did not like that, okay. Let's see what this thing does. Oh, so I can actually, like, switch it up. Um, I'm sure there's gonna be a clue somewhere about the pattern for this. I don't think I can do anything in here for now, so let me continue exploring. And looks like over here I'm gonna need three strength, so I don't think this is gonna work. Almost. If I was a little bit stronger, I could do it. Alright, so let me check over here. I knew fairy tales were unlikely to come true. However, sometimes you can't find a romantic heart. That goblin so desperately wanted to find its prince. This is really funny. I really like... This game is just funny. Let's see. I have a crown on my head, so I can look like a prince. I don't know. Let's see what's going on here. Alright, so if I step on this, that... Opens, and then this... Closes. Let's see what this does. Maybe if I put that rock on the actual thing, we'll see what happens there. Okay, let me drop down here. Oh man, that's hilarious. <laughs> Oh, that's really funny. Kind of creepy. Kind of creepy. These goblins are so excited. I just made their day. Look how happy they are. So, did I get that frog? I did. And you know what I'm thinking, right? I can use that to catch those flies. Let's do that. Let's go back and grab some flies. Let's see, let's see. Let's try it out. I think it's gonna work. I don't see why it wouldn't. There we go. One fly coming right up. Let me try to take it back to our favorite little couple. And see if they can make some sort of potion. And also with the sword that I got. I think that maybe... I can give that to Amaya Blackstone, because she was looking for something sharp. We'll see. It seems like there are so many different paths you can take in this chapter. So I'm sure there's so many different playthrough options here. Let me try to get that coin with the sword, actually. It's not worth getting caught for. Alright, maybe not. Gonna need something else for that. Can you help us? All right, let me see how she's doing. How are you feeling? Worse than yesterday, as you can probably tell. All right, so she dropped the heart. Bye. Good night, sire. Let me give him the fly. Plan on bringing us food before we dole out any wisdom. Okay, so I Until guess they're not gonna time. do anything. <sighs> Visit us again soon. Ah. <sighs> okay. Let's go see how Bramble is doing. We need to find a coin so we can get her some medicine. But it looks like Mr. Fancy Cakes also needs medicine. I don't know, man. Because he didn't take that meat. Oh, she looks bad. She she doesn't look good. What? How's she feeling? Uh, 
She hasn't got much left in her. Oh my god, that is dark, dude. See ya. I don't know. I need to find money somewhere, somehow. Let me go this way. Let me give Amaya Blackstone the the sword. Let's see if that's gonna do anything. Huh. Good work. Not too shabby. Could use a few more strategically placed barbs, but who am I to complain? All right, Graham. Stand back. Which one you want me to take out first? Hmm. So the one on the right has money, and I could use that to buy medicine and save Bramble. The one on the left has a key that can open up something, I don't know what. You know what, I'm a risk taker. I'm a risk taker. Take that. I'm going for the key. I don't know what that's gonna do. Come here, you little pile of gravel. But I'm hoping Reach it's the right choice. So I can cut it off. The alarm is sounding though, that's not good. Ugh. Okay. What was that, guard? Oh, nothing. I went to bed with a heavy heart. Everyone was relying on me, and I knew I was going to have to make some hard choices. Jesus. That morning, stale smell hung in the air. I knew Bramble and Mr. Fancy Case couldn't hold on another day without medicine. Ah, uh, so are they gonna die? This is tricky. I don't know what to do because I have one more meat. Mr. Fancy Cakes and Bramble, they, they're not going to do the meat. They need the actual medicine. The old couple seem to be okay. Amaya seems to be okay. Again, I'm a risk taker. I'm going to fill up my strength all. And hopefully that will give me access to some other regions in the game. I don't know, man. It's just risky. And started to feel like myself again. All right, let me look in the mirror. Check out my biceps. That's about as good as I was going to feel down there. Excellent. And I think finally I can do this thing with all my strength. And look at that. We have like an escape route now. I still can't believe Gwendolyn tricked me in the tournament with those stupid chicken noises. Yes, well, she was quite egg extraordinary. Guys, I'm right here. There's that cheesy pun, and I saw some bolt cutters down there. How do I get that? I feel like that would be very useful in my plight. Okay. There's a coin, nice. So I can use that to buy some medicine. I knew it was going to pay off to get all my strength. I thought those had all been destroyed. I didn't need any reminders of impossible riddles from my earlier adventuring days. Okay, here's a gramophone, and I'm sure that this is going to help me out in that other room. Let's see. Okay, that kind of switches things. Okay, what does this do? Okay, it just goes one by one. So let me try to memorize this. You got pink, orange, green, pink, green, orange. Pink, pink. Okay, alright, I think I got it. Let me see this one. Alright, perfect. I think this will be useful in that other room. Put that goblin to sleep. So, green, green, brown, black, green, green, brown. Okay. Alright, I got it, I got it. Let's see what the other one is.
Okay, interesting. I wonder if playing all three of those will have different effects. So we got pink, 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 orange, green, 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 pink, pink. Okay, all right, all right. I got it. Let's go back. Let's do this. And let's go explore out here. Let's take a look at Mr. Fancy Cakes. He is on death's door, dude. He is not gonna last. Oh my god. He looks the sickest of them all. I couldn't help but be afraid. The survival of the prisoners was solely up to me. The last time I faced something like this, it didn't end well. He's right, that is a lot of pressure. And that is some pressure that I'm gonna have to think about. I'm gonna have to think about what to do here. So we're gonna leave it for the next episode. I hope you're enjoying the playthrough so far, and you're excited to continue adventuring down here. I know I am. As always, be sure to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Help small channels like mine. And you know what? I was looking at my last chapter playthrough of this, and some clown, and I know it was some idiot, just went through and disliked every one of the videos in that series. And I know it was only one person because there's one dislike on all those videos. And I bet it was somebody who did a playthrough of this as well. And he was just jealous because mine was so much better than his. So help counteract, counteract some of those fools by leaving that like for me. And I'll catch you guys next time, so see you then.